and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Moldratha Burn. That's right. We are going to be playing Mono Red Moldratha. Um, we're playing a Mono Red deck that's, you know, just, just like regular old Mono Red in Historic uh, that we got here because we are splashing for this Elemental Avatar, Moldratha the Gravetide. Um, splashing is pretty easy in historic the mana is good we we're only playing four of each um each color so we'll see if that's enough we're gonna have to find a, a black and a green and a blue before we can play it um so that could be kind of tough but um this could be a, a cool card to give us some extra gas because you know how like mono red can sometimes run out of gas you have a six mana six six during each of your turns you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard so we can play so it's mostly going to be creatures, you know, like we can play a creature from our graveyard each turn. So, you know, like we can play another via Shino Pyromancer to do extra damage or a Chain Whirler or Firebrand Steamkin. You know, like with Firebrand, you can play it, sack it the next turn, play it again, and so on. We also have a Planeswalker. So, you know, we get to play a Planeswalker from the graveyard. And this Planeswalker, um, you can minus to recast your instants and in, minus two to recast your instants and in sorceries. So we can use Moldratha to replay Chandra and then have Chandra replay Light of the Stage or Shock. Um, and they kill Chandra, you just rinse and repeat. And of course we have our legendary artifact. You know, if they get rid of our Embercleave, we can bring it back. Or if they get rid of our Frenzy, we can bring that back also. So yeah, this is a, a interesting take on Mono Red. I haven't seen anybody else think of uh, splashing Moldratha <laughs> in Mono Red before. So there we go. This this could be um, this could be pretty sweet. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get this started. So uh, we're gonna be playing over in ranked, uh, even though we got a, a brew here because um, for historic that's the only way to play best of three matches is to play in ranked. So let's go. Let's uh, pick up some wins and burn people and surprise them with Moldratha. Okay. Very reasonable hand. Hopefully our Steamkin stays alive. Uh, being on the draw. Uh-oh. Uh, correct. There's there is no unranked best of 3 in for historic. The only options are are unranked best of one or ranked best of three. Those are your two options. So they'll be they'll be gaining some life with Wild Growth Walker. We're gonna hopefully be able to outgrind them with our Moldratha. Need three more lands, including a blue and a black source. I want land. <laughs> no land. It's got four mana. All right, that's it. Just 13 mana worth of stuff. Uh, 
No more. There is no land. Um, I think we'll be able to kill them. Okay. So if we just Ember Cleave a Chain Whirler, that's going to be 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Sack these two. More damage. <laughs> no, Chain Whirler with Cleave does not get triple strike. No. So it just, it just does the normal first strike damage, but then it also gets to do damage uh, during the regular combat phase also. Yeah, Muldrotha played a pretty big part of that one. If we didn't have Muldrotha in hand, then we would have drawn lots of lands. But we had Muldrotha, so we didn't play, draw lands to play it. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, so Lava Coil definitely seems like the best thing to be bringing in. Does also seem like a really good Chain Whirler matchup with them playing Risen Reef. Also, they don't really have very much removal, so Torbrand is awesome. Doesn't seem like they're playing removal. The thing is, is we're going to have to cut seven cards to play all of these. Which means... It's a lot of this top end... So the coils are going to be the hard thing to really fit in. Maybe it's just Vyoshino Pyromancer completely, actually. Yeah, Vyoshino, like the two on body, doesn't really match up against a lot of stuff. Well, Steamkin with Frenzy can be really crazy. Wild Growth Walker is an elemental, does trigger Risen Reef. Is really good. I should have played Castle Ember this last turn because maybe I draw a blue or a black source that I'd want to play instead of the castle. 
I should not have played this mount. I should have played castle. I, of course, wanted to play Frenzy that turn, but a backup Steam can. That's just so critical. Because of Steamkin's craziness with Frenzy. I do think it's worth playing the land from hand. I don't regret playing the land from hand. I do think it's worth it. Getting that out there. But I guess maybe with double Steamkin it's not because of how much mana we can have with two Steamkins. I guess that could change things. Sure. Now I wish I would have dealt the damage to them. Oh wait, they took damage because of Chain Whirler. Yeah, Steamkin's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, and you're going to kill this thing. Oh, what do I want to do? You just kill this thing. That's a chump block. Are you gonna play a sweeper? Probably not. Yeah, command the dread horde maybe. They would need another black source. They keep this up instead of keeping the Leafkin Druid up? Oh, because Leafkin Druid tapped for two. That's why. Ugh. 
Oh, no, that's no, red mana. We, we still need blue mana. Yeah, talk about a card that's better with Torbrand, Chain Whirler. Yeah, they want... They want that second black for Command the Dread Horde, but they're a little dead. And we ranked up, we're in diamond. All right, turns out Simic no removal. Well, I guess that was Sultai. Sultai no removal. Not as good as Sultai burn. We didn't get to do cool stuff with Muldratha, but you got to see Runaway, Runaway Steamkin, you know, being its namesake card, running away with the game. And that's why I kept the hand, even though it was just five lands, a Steamkin and a Frenzy, because Steamkin Frenzy, that's all you need. That was a very good draw. In fact, my best draw with just tap lands. Would have been tap lands. So we got Abzan, Swamp Temple Garden with Evolving Wilds. In historic. Whoa. Water grave. That was quite shocking. That watery grave. So shocking even my opponent was shocked by it. I don't know. I don't know what we're playing against. So, run it back. Seems like it could be a slower deck, like I want this Chandra instead of this Chandra. I'll hedge. We'll just go one of each Chandra. Get some Chandra variety in our life. I don't think it's a Kethis deck. I don't know. I guess it could be. <laughs> no, we're playing. We're playing Moldratha. We're not playing Mono Red. Moldratha burn. Yeah. Yeah, either one's good up and at him. Either one's good. What's up, Ascurio? Sure, J Jack.
All right, just like last time, let's draw a mountain. Boo. It's not like I did one drop anyway. Maybe this is Crucible of Worlds. Start replaying these lands from the graveyard. Pretty great pyromancer. Say hi to my fiery friend. All right, we got black, we got green, we got blue. Is this is this the game's gonna happen? We cast a Moldratha. You want Boros Giants after Theros drops? Okay. Cleric's inspiring. Hold on a minute. Oh, so cute. And drops. Yeah. Drops. Say hi to my fiery friends. Okay. The Dead Eye Quartermaster. What do we got? Sorcerer's Wand? Okay. Force me to use my shock. All I want to do, all I'm trying to do is get more lands. That's all I want. Tell me if you've seen this one before. All I want are more lands. So I can play Moldratha. Destroy Sorcerer's Wand. I just want to play Moldratha. We're so close. We're just two lands away.
See ya, Chandra. I have not had the best, I've not used my cards the max maximum capacity, to be honest. Yeah. All right, one land left. Then we get to play Moldrotha. Then we have to untap with Moldrotha, but then we can start playing Firebrands and Chandra. They have gained, dang, they've gained 16 life? No, they've gained 19 life. They gained three life off this thing. Oh, nope, never mind, I didn't gain life. Sweet. We're slamming it. I mean, I did have lethal there. I would have just played my fervent champion, attacked with everything, Ember Cleave. We had lethal, but we're not playing Muldrotha Burn to not play Muldrotha Burn. We're playing Muldrotha in our Muldrotha burn deck. We're going to have Muldrotha with an Ember Cleave. Yeah. Muldrotha, the sword carrier. It's happening. All right. Cast as creature. Creature. Another creature. You two. Not you. Uh, middle. Left. No, middle, right, left. No, it was middle, left, right. Whatever. It's like impossible to figure that out. All right, we'll draw the cleave. All right, now we can sack these things and blow these things up. I just want to draw the cleave first. The stack. We'll draw the cleave. Nah, they like switch order a bunch and everything. Sinful gamers. I don't know. It's basically impossible. Ooh, another Paragon. All right, get that lifelink in there. We'll drop the cleave. Aw, oh, first strike kill before they even get the lifelink. GG's. That was a game of magic right there. Don't get to Muldrotha cleave too often. We're living dreams over here. All right, and we're 2-0. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Draw the cleave. Rhino Master number nine. Wonder if Rhino Master number nine is going to be surprised or expecting the Muldratha.
Okay. Just gonna shock in to keep playing the lands they know about. Cool, we got rid of one Teferi already. Right on schedule. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. like them keeping. It's been in that way, man. Come out and play in the sun. Don't extend too much into a wrath. What's up, Storm? Storm, this deck is for you. We're playing Moldratha Burn. We've had some awesome games. We just got to have a Moldratha cleave. The last game. I am the master here. I do love a good death Ooh. whale. Need another land. And they get, and they have Ascanta activation. They have it all. I don't think Moldrotha can beat Ascanta. We're gonna try. Wow, that's I'm rude. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Well, oh, darn. No time for a break. Basically, three sweepers in a row. With, you know, I was playing two creatures, Liliana, Wrath, Wrath. Well, that was a bad turn for them. They definitely should act activate Ascanta first, and then with the untap, untap the Ascanta. They could add another Ascanta activation. So they just wasted that. Mm-hmm. 
Can you play like Stomp out of the graveyard with Moldratha? Probably not, right? Why didn't I attack with... Oh, no, I just played Viachino Pyromancer. That's why I didn't attack with it, because I just played it. I don't want to keep Moldratha in hand and let them Thought Erasure it. <laughs> you don't think anyone's ever tried before? You don't think anybody's ever tried to stomp from their graveyard with Moldratha in play? Yeah, my my only hope is drawing Frenzy, having Frenzy resolve, and then getting a whole bunch of spells. Hmm. Right, I'm going to take out Shock and a couple Steamkins. Yeah, I'm not sure, Jay Gomez. That's that sounds like a pretty good card. Attack, attack, attack. I guess if I would have played this, then Runaway's team can wouldn't die to Cry the Carnarium. I was thinking I didn't want everything to die to Cry the Carnarium. Yeah, I guess I probably should have just played the Pyromancer. Um... We just missed our fourth land drop forever this game. 
You know, like we were on the draw, or we were on the play, we could have the fourth land forever ago. I mean, we just, we need, I mean, we need a land, we need to play these fire artisans. They, they had a pretty perfect hand. Double wrath. Took the Chandra, they couldn't counter. They really had everything. I was they were just two two amazing Esper hands. <laughs> no, it's, it's all good. It's all good, Rex. It's literally just having everything. Now we draw lands. We just needed to draw one land earlier. Beating them, keeping multiple cards on top, and them having Castle of Andrus. Okay, two and one. <laughs> yeah, you dream of Esper hands like that? Yeah, that goes. Both of those games were just the dream. All right, we got got a pretty good hand here with these fervent champions. I'll lead with the fervent champion because it is possible that we draw another one, and then we could go double champ, you know, two more champions here. That was a really great turn turn two. Double emissary bone crusher giant. That was great.
that's the problem though with Muldratha. Is sometimes you just can't play it at all. Sorry, Muldratha, gotten you here. Guess I could keep one Muldratha in. This is a Muldratha burn deck. I guess we keep one. We can't be a non Muldratha burn. I I have blue, black, and green lands in here. We just didn't draw any last game. Yeah, we have we have lands that cast Muldratha, just not very many. Alright, hopefully they don't have that kind of hand again of Burning Tree, Burning Tree, Bone Crusher Giant. That was rough. Yeah, I like that a lot better. I like that a lot better. about how we want to do this I think I'm just gonna lose the fervent champion I'm gonna keep the bone crusher giant and chain whirler <laughs> yeah, that was nice. That made, made my life a little easier to draw on that lava coil. But at that point, the chain whirlers just took over. Chain whirlers are so good. Being all first strike and everything. 
It's so good. I would like to draw a lot of Chain Whirlers again. That was cool. There's two Moldrotha in the deck. I said word one out with this very fast matchup. <laughs> well, good, dude. Damn it, this deck said this deck. This deck is less janky than I thought. I didn't think we'd win at all. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've won a couple. Um, we're trying. Maybe they don't have removal for Steamkin. No removal, please. No removal. Uh, not not a second red for Ember Cleave. That's good. All ready for a turn? Tor Brown. Um, I guess I can only do. I guess I can only kill one of their cards. I can kill Questing Beast or Spellbreaker. I don't get to do both. Chain Whirler does three to everything. Could have just played Bone Crusher Giant and saved Chain Whirler, but it's probably worth getting that Questing Beast out of here. Now, it's do they have Ember Cleave or not? I mean, I guess Ember Cleave doesn't. I guess Ember Cleave's not good. They're they just need removal. Hmm. Yeah, Chain Whirler Torbrand is pretty messed up. I wish I would have drawn something here. You know, anything. Besides a land. I guess Moldrotha would not have helped.
I know I missed one point of damage by not playing that before Steam King, but I wanted I didn't want them to know about my entire hand before they made their decisions to block or not block. I didn't want them to know about my turn. Now it goes back to them. Do they have anything now? They played a 4-4, I played a 4-3, but no, you know, no removal. Last turn for them, no removal for me. Now back to them. That is removal. Just dead. All right, three and one. Torbrand, Chain Whirler, Steamkin, real strong. This is a pretty good pretty good deck. My sorry, I I missed uh Yeah, like I couldn't block it, as far as like why didn't like this is a long time ago, but why didn't I block with the the fanatical firebrand? You know, I, I just I shot the 3-3, three, three, but I couldn't block Questing Beast, you know, it's too small, and the spellbreaker had trample, so no reason to block that. And so like those are the only two things to block. And if you block the trampler first, the damage, and then sacrifice the trample, like it still tramples over. So there just wasn't anything to, to block with the firebrand whenever I didn't block with it and just send it at them. This is a good hand. Putting Viachino Pyromancer back, it's a good hand. Wait. Hey, Frisky Biscuits. Yeah, I got this Biffy shirt on today. Oh, yeah. Devotion. Yeah. Chain Whirler Devotion. Yeah, Chain Whirler Torbrand Devotion. It's a lot of that. A lot of devotion there. All right, so Lesnia. Could be three color with, you know, Paradise Druid. That's Paradise Druid's kind of representing that we're only, that we're not just playing two colors because we have this five color uh, mana creature here. No, the opponent does not see the spectacle animation. I also don't really know why it didn't it's attack with Firebrand. I don't really have a good answer for that. In a pool of margaritas. Arkbo! I know, I feel bad going against the Arkbo deck because I like Arkbo so much.
I know, I feel bad. Playing playing this first. Yeah, it's a screensaver. Arc bow is. Runaway Steamkin is pretty good. All right, your turn. Yeah, the weird animation is because of the spectacle card. Yep, that's the the spectacle animation. Places, everyone. I would like to attack. So they're banned. Guess I should have left one Firebrand back to hit the Druid. Thanks, Dirt Dog. We get Chain Whirler. We get a Chandra. Anyone need a fire started? No? Too bad. Let's get some more cards. Remember that spell. Okay. So we can we can bone crush our giant. And then use Steamkin to activate Castle Embereth. All right. All right, well, we want Chain Whirlers against the Paradise Druid deck. That's definitely something we want. I think we also want tour brands. This could be a fry matchup. Like, I could definitely see them playing Lyra Dawnbringer. Certainly Shalai.
<laughs> uh, the second one, Badger. Yeah, our, our deck's probably not actually better with Muldratha, but it's sweet. We got to Muldratha Cleave earlier. It's just the best thing ever. Muldratha Cleave. How does Muldratha work in the deck? I mean, it just does what the card does. You get to replay permanence from your graveyard. So it gives you a good late game. Well, it gives you a late game. Questionable time to be light up the staging. I don't think I want to. I think I want to play Chain Warlords next turn. Because you can light up the stage doesn't mean you need to. Hey, my Tai Tai. See, Chain Whirler's pretty good. <laughs> Omen to Cat. Oh, no! I didn't want to attack with Firebrand. Ugh. I guess it's, I have Ember Cleave now. I guess it's probably better to just have Ember Cleave anyway. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I like Fervent Champion more than Lava Runner because we're not playing hardly any instants and sorceries. Like we just have Shock and Light of the Stage. That's not very many. Ugh. I can't Ember Cleave anything. Whatever I Ember Cleave, they just block the other thing. But now, you know, now I can't Ember Cleave anymore. Time to attack. Could get settled. Is there really a playing around settle? Attack with those. Keep Firebrand back. I have seven basic mountains in the deck, so this would be all seven. Dandanel! Getting that resub in here. Thank you so much there, Dandanel. Welcome back. Saying, go Diagonal Monkey. Poor Bandek. Poor Bandek.
but that means that we were four and one. Four and one, just losing to that Esper player that had two great hands. That was the only thing that could take down Muldratha Burn. Four and one. We had to have a, some crazy Frenzy Steamkin games that were crazy. And we got to um, we got to play Muldratha a couple of times. I think twice we played Muldratha. And we even got to Muldratha Cleave. That's right. We got to put Umber Cleave on Muldratha. So that's a win-win. <laughs> Yeah, so Muldratha was the reason it won. I agree. I agree. Without Muldratha, we would have had a lot worse draws. Without Muldratha just being in the deck, our opponents would have had better draws. We would have had worse draws. And we would have been losing all the time. So Muldratha MVP. <laughs> Muldratha single-handedly the only reason this deck won a game. <laughs> I think every deck should have a splash Muldratha. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, the, the rest of our lands are down here, but yeah, we have, we have a little bit of lands for, to be able to cast Muldrotha. All right, so that was pretty sweet. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how often y'all have Muldrotha cleaved, but I, I can cross that one off the bucket list. I've now done that one. All right, uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, like, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of Muldrotha Burn. Um, basically, mono red Muldratha. You can call that call it that too, mono red Muldratha. That sounds pretty good, cool too. And the Muldratha cleave. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching some Muldratha burn, and I'll see you for the next video.